Hello guys, recently you requested, actually there have been a many requests for memory stripes for uh, Radeon Vega with Hynix memory. And as you can see, uh, the first GPU here, in GPU 0, has Hynix memory. And we are able to push it to 54 mega hash at 160 watts. And uh, this is AMD, so at 50% like 160 watts from the wall it's running fairly stable and uh, this card i think is really good so this is not a standard hynix memory i think i got lucky here but uh, let's check out the memory timings i will post this in description so you can just copy and use them and uh, this works uh, pretty well. I don't usually run it at this, this high because occasionally I get the hardware error which is pissing me off so I am one of those guys that does not want to see any hardware errors on any GPUs but if that doesn't bother you I'm pretty sure you can run this on your card. The card that I have is Sapphire Pulse Vega 56 so no BIOS mod it's just the default BIOS and uh, we can see in the minor and as you can see in the minor we are it's uh, hovering around 54 mega hash the power consumption a little bit lower than 110 watts it fluctuates a little bit it's running for only 11 minutes now but uh, seems pretty stable it depends on your card, of course. I didn't see many Hynix memory cards that can overclock to 970 mega, uh, megahertz, but uh, some of them can. Usually 960 is the maximum. And uh, that's it. If you're lucky, you can use this and get like a better hash rate than with Samsung memory in some cases. However, I have another Hynix uh, memory card. Uh, which is not that good actually. I think it's on the lower end of the spectrum and we will take a look at it now. Uh, the card in question is this one, GPU 8. It is um, Vega 56 Nitro Plus with Hynix memory and it's been my worst card that I have. Uh, so I'm able to do 51.5 However, the power consumption is really good. It's 96 watts. It's probably less than 150 watts from the wall. But this card is really weird because I was able to run it at 960 for months without any problems. And then it started throwing errors nonstop. So I had to lower the, the frequency to 940, I think. And then that was running fine for months again. And then again, some errors like nonstop popping up. So I'm now at 930. I think this card has some some issues uh, however when you lower the frequency you can always not always but you can lower the rc uh, parameter here so i'm running it at 35 and then you're still able to push your card to like 51.56 which is still good uh, for a vega card that's like four or five years old uh, another important thing when you run this actually for vega cards in general you should aim for the memory temperature below 75 degrees if it goes above 75 you'll have many more hardware errors than below 75 so 75 is like the threshold i know it's not always possible to keep it under 75 because it's vega and it hits up a lot but uh, that should be your your goal if you want to push it to the limit